Hey guys, and welcome back to Mo's Barbecue. On this video, I am going to be trying to conquer one of my uh, my biggest nemesis, which is beef brisket. And we're going to be smoking this bad boy on my trailer reverse flow. So stick around. All right. So my problem with brisket is. And you know, all those who uh, you know do brisket a lot, you know, please comment below, give me some advice. Um, it's kind of hit and miss for me. Uh, I've, I've done brisket and it's come out very well, and I've done brisket and it's just like, eh, I, you know, it's dry or um, too mushy, like I overdid it. And my my concerns are always like, where do I probe? Where do I where do I take temps from? The middle, the point, the you know, the very tip. Um, you know, because those temperature ranges are all over the place. So on this cook, I'm focusing on the middle of the brisket, on the flat, and we'll see how this goes. All right, so what we have here is a 15 pound brisket. This is a whole packer. And what I started to do was trim up some of the hard fat on here. Uh, you've seen all this before. There's plenty of YouTube videos on here, but basically we're just trimming off anything that we know that's not gonna render out. So I'll go ahead and get this trimmed up. All right, so here's our brisket. Uh, trimmed it up pretty good. I got up most of the hard fat out of there. Um, kind of evened it up. This is the, the back side here, which I left a little bit of fat on because this I'm going to do fat side down. So what we're going to do is add a little Worcestershire sauce to this. This will help the rub bind. And for a rub, I'm just using some Weber uh, dry smoking rub. Um, I really like this rub. It's You can buy it at any grocery store. It's a really good all-purpose rub. And I thought it would go good with uh, with brisket. If you want salt and pepper, you know, just Texas style, uh, I thought I'd get a little bit of sweetness in here. This also has a lot of salt and pepper. So we'll go ahead and liberally cook this. All right, we're going to go let this hang out for about, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour. Let's get this room temperature. We got the, uh, the Fat Boy trailer out there, uh, the reverse flow smoker heating up. I'm going to give that about an hour to heat up too. So I will see you then. All right, so I got my trailer uh, reverse flow heating up. I got some mesquite uh, charcoal in there that I got it going. Up on top here, I got some pecan and some cherry that I'm warming up. I'm using the firebox to help warm this up. This will help the uh, these logs ignite a little bit faster. So we'll wait till these uh, you know start to get warmed up, and then we'll throw a couple logs in, and we should be getting our brisket on pretty soon. This process for me usually takes about an hour, maybe hour twenty minutes to get my uh, to get my uh, pit here, you know, to the proper temperature and stable. So I usually get the meat prep, let it sit, and then come out here and, and get this thing up and running. And by the time this thing's up and running, the meat's ready, so it all tends to work out. So it's an early start, but we'll get this thing warmed up. so our pit has reached 250 degrees and it's been stable so we'll go ahead and get our brisket on got a little drip pan here to help keep things clean and what we're looking for I got my probe in here looking for 165 degrees in the flat and I'll go ahead and wrap at that point but I'm also looking at color if it gets to a you know to a nice color that I like I'll probably go ahead and foil at that point but the goal is 165 in the flat and then we'll go ahead and foil so we'll see you then all right guys so we've hit our stall it's about 150 you know just a little over we're gonna go ahead and pull it I like the color of it got some good color um, still looks a lot nice and moist and like I said the the main problem I've been having with a lot of my briskets is it they'd send to dry out 
I did go ahead and make a mop sauce with this. I'll have the uh, the mop sauce that I did, the ingredients down below. Uh, it's just a very basic mop sauce. I just want to keep some moisture in here, but at this point, I'm going to go ahead and wrap. So we'll go ahead and get this off. Got some butcher paper here. I am going to go hit it with a little bit of this mop sauce just to get some moisture in there. I think just uh, two layers of the, the butcher paper will work. Let's go ahead and get this back on. Go ahead and get this back on. Get a probe right in the center of the flat. And we'll go ahead and keep an eye on this until we reach an internal temp of 200, 203, somewhere around there. So I will see you then. All right, guys, so we're at the 11-hour uh, mark. Our brisket had hit the uh, internal temp of 201. So what I'm going to do at this point is go ahead and get this transferred off into a pan. And we're going to set this in the cooler to rest for about an hour. So we'll give it an hour, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so our uh, brisket's been resting for uh, about an hour. Let's go ahead and... Open this bad boy up. Oh, real nice. A lot of, lot of juice in there, so hopefully that juice stayed in the meat. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. All right, let's see what we got here. It's definitely tender. Cutting really nice. I'm liking this. It's really good. Uh, nice smoke ring, like I said. Nice and juicy. Let's try one of these slices. Um, it's still nice and juicy. Pulls apart really nice. Let's go ahead and uh, let's give us a bite. All right, before we bite into this, this is the point. A lot of people say when I when I do my briskets, I don't uh, I don't show the point being cut into it, but that's the point right there, and that is hella juicy. It's, it's just so moist. Um, I'm actually really, uh, really happy with the way this turned out. So now let's give this a taste. All right, so here we go. Just tender as can be, pull apart. Smells great, awesome smoke flavor. Uh, that rub just adds that saltiness to it. Uh, you get those spices. Let's try this. It's beefy. That mop sauce that we that I used uh, adds a little bit of twang to it, a little bit of vinegar, which is really good. It's getting better. Uh, I think I just got to keep trying, keep doing briskets, and we'll get better at it. Well, remember, guys, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys on the next run. Thanks for watching.